everything we do. Keep your toe up. It's locked in that position. And the reason why we want toe up, because we want to maximize the sort of elastic energy, and when we place our foot into the ground, we're going to get a natural response and push off. And by having toe up, it's going to help accelerate the recovery. It's going to help accelerate the recovery. Now, first exercise we're going to do is really simple. To teach this technique is called pogo jumps. Okay, and now we're actually going to get started. And I'm going to go through this warm up, guys, kind of slow. I want to teach each, move, each movement. Then we're going to pick up the speed and go through it a little faster and get you guys warmed up and get you guys, just with our warm up, to understand the warm up so well and have such attention to detail. Because if you just do the warm up correctly, just the warm up today, we're just going to, even if we don't get through everything, I, I got some DVDs, we're going to leave you with a lot of information. If you just hone in attention to detail, become that martial artist, or we like to call a martial athlete, become that martial athlete, that, that Zen master with such fine attention to detail, just with the basics here, I'm going to get you to feel faster than you ever felt before in your life. Just with the basics. So the first thing we got to master is the, is the ankle and toe up position. The first thing. So the way we're going to do that, coach will show it, we're going to start off with straight legs, straight arms. Imagine your legs are two steel rods like the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. You have no knee joint. The toes are up, the hands are in front, hands are closed in a fist position. And you're just going to pop off the ground, keeping the toes up nice and light. Nice and light, keeping the toes in the up position. That's all you're doing. We're going to do that and get as many as you can for 15 seconds. Okay? Keep